So contact tracing, right? We've talked about this a lot. It's really only going to work to slow down COVID-19 if people are willing to talk and there are enough people to actually call others. CU Boulder says they're coming up with a plan that they think will actually make students feel a little bit more comfortable. And it's only appropriate that it starts with launching a new class. I think it's a great opportunity for students. We have a lot of students who are interested in public health. In the middle of a pandemic, necessity competes with interest when it comes to contact tracing, which is why CU Boulder is offering a course on it. And so it's an opportunity for them to take what they're learning in their classes and actually be able to practice it. There were 85 students enrolled in the course expected to start reaching out to people by the end of August, and they will only reach out to other people on campus. You know, there have been some reports in the newspapers about how some, sometimes people have been reluctant to talk to contact tracers. I think for students, it's helpful for them to be able to talk to other students or their peers. Um, they might feel more comfortable about sharing some of that information. One of the things that's really important about contact tracing is getting in touch with somebody pretty quickly after we find out that there's been a positive COVID test. That's the very thing health departments keep track of. Like in Denver, they've been able to give guidance to nearly 90% of the people they've successfully contacted, but can't say yet if that contact tracing impacted the spread of COVID-19. And after pairing up with the Service Corps, the state says from May 25th through July 5th, the program contacted 99% of cases assigned within 24 hours and interviewed 72%. The state's goal is to onboard 800 AmeriCorps and Senior Corps members to help with contact tracing. Chris Vanderveen says it is probably safe to call this a trend now, so we will. After climbing at the beginning of July, COVID-19 hospitalizations in Colorado now seem to be heading back down. 237 Coloradans are currently in hospitals with COVID-19. We were up over 270 last weekend. 31 patients have been discharged or transferred in the last 24 hours. Colorado added 616 new cases today, unfortunately continuing that upward trend we've been seeing. We've been averaging more than 510 new cases per day over the last week.